All right, guys, so since we have a lot more PRP, we're gonna do my right Achilles, which has been bothering me since like 2003 from an over-exercise induced injury. And uh, did a lot of walking and some shoes that normally, they're actually these Under Armour shoes, so I'll, I'll put them in the link. Do not buy these shoes, they dig into your Achilles. And I woke up on Friday and literally could barely walk, and I got better over time. So since we're here, we have the PRP, we're gonna go ahead and Tina's gonna get in there and, and help to induce some uh, good healing. Okay, this is my last row, and then I'm gonna do a couple back here, and then I'm just gonna get your temples really quick, and you're done, cool, okay? Cool, cool, all right. You're doing great. Is this much better than the? Uh, it, it definitely is less stingy. Good. Mm -hmm. But the temples, I'm not super stoked on. Your hair is parting more nicely because it's longer. It's easier than to last hold. time. Yeah, it's easier you to know, hold I out think of the last way. Last time we did the numbing stuff, and that. Um, oh yeah, that's a goofy mat. What do you think? I mean, was it necessarily more helpful? No. I don't think it. I is. don't think it. It just gets all goopy everywhere, and mm -hmm. you're like, you know. Hang tight. Yeah, just you can just rock it. Okay, I'm gonna clean them off, and then I'm gonna just get them with a. <sighs> this this one hurts, guys. If you ever do this, it really is not. <laughs> Temples. Well, I think the body's smart and it puts a high bed of nerves where we need to protect things, right? And yeah. this is pretty. Once, I mean, of course, this is important, but once we get down into the face, is it thinner bone there or thinner skin, thinner bone, the whole thing? Well, you you've just got, I think, more propensity. This is one big solid mass of bone, yeah. and then this is a bunch of holes. Right. All right, and we and also maybe depending on what part of your brain is what, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I know that you know it's like you have a lot of uh, nerves. Highly innervated in the hands and feet, right? Because they're pretty important. Yeah. <sighs> Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. You can do it all. I'm going to do three on each side. Okay. The first one's the bugger. Right. Yep. One. Two. Three. Nice. Okay. This side. Yep. Ready? One. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. It hurt way more last time. Or maybe it's just now that I know what I'm expecting, so it's a little bit different. Okay, I cool. think we're good. We're good, all right. <laughs> Your hair looks awesome, let's fix this. I'm so sure it looks. Go back to being fashionable. I'm sure it looks fashionable, Mike Muscle. Amazing. <laughs> How's the elbow feeling? Oh, it's fine. Can yeah. we take the ice? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. It sometimes just takes that bite down. It's okay? Yep. Oh, that's the spot. That is the spot right there. Oh my gosh, actually that one. Oh my gosh, that. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good touch. <sighs> I'm almost done, and then I'm gonna go back through, and it'll be numb. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that that is really. Last bit. Not so good. <laughs> that's the spot. No, that's the spot. <laughs> yeah, but it was it right in there, kind of where we were talking. Oh yeah, I went down the whole length of it. You'll see. I you'll see the line from the line. I'm gonna let this numb up for a second, and then I'm gonna go back and actually be really thorough with it. Okay, but cool. you you won't feel most of that. That hurt. That definitely hurts in a good way. You can definitely <laughs> feel it. <laughs> well, you know, it hurts, but most people report. Most people ask us, "Are you done?" They thought I was just numbing them. Yeah. And then the other thing we get often is that it didn't hurt nearly as bad as the pain they're walking around with, y that's that they're living it. with every day. Yeah. That's holding them up. Like um, a few moments of. If people can really learn to breathe through the pain and know that it's just a few moments, I'm fast. Mm -hmm. I don't think around. Yeah. There are a lot of docs out there that'll take their sweet time, and I was taught by one of the best, and it's all about timing. So. Right. Oh man, I was like, dude, I can't go hike with my daughter. This is ridiculous. But luckily, it healed pretty quick. So it was due to shoes. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, Hannah, really that. good question. I don't know. This is the <laughs> only time in my life that I've been quote unquote injured, and I didn't know what I did. That's what pissed me off. I'm like, like what did I do? so I did an interview in Baltimore, Maryland, uh -huh. and um. I was walking around for like two and a half hours, but I've been hiking, yeah. and so was these these shoes like have this strong cuff on Not the back. Bad. Yeah. Good job. 
Yeah, all right, so let's let's kind of finish off with the uh, PRP in the hair. So men and women, <laughs> right? Like, so the idea is we're slowing down the loss. Yeah, so that's a great question um, as far as men and women go. Men need a little, it really depends on their balding. I can't fix hair that's been lost for a long time. Yep. So you're a great candidate because you came in right as you were just starting to notice it. Mm -hmm. And then even people who have balded some, I can do a lot of good. Mm -hmm. But I can't do... Um, I can't fix somebody who's, you know, completely bald across the top and it's been there for 10 years. Yeah. Like Jason Statham. Right. But he, he rocks anyway. Yeah, so he, he rocks. Doesn't it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. Um, yeah, he rocks the bald. Uh, women, you need fewer treatments, honestly. Women's mm -hmm. hair loss is different reasons. It's honestly usually due to thyroid, mm -hmm. um, anemia, stress, hormone disruption. And one to two treatments with women, maybe three, very good. Men may need a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And we space them just like I do joints. I space them about six to eight weeks apart. Okay. And, but that's not always critical with hair. Mm -hmm. And people do well. And most people report a lot of what you did, just kind of an arresting of the. Yeah. And then women, I've seen more so than men, they get a lot of baby hairs. Oh, okay. I have seen some of that too. Yeah. My baby hair, when I had my hair lost, my baby hair started growing back by themselves when I had the stress of eight, but. Yeah, isn't that funny how stress affects hair? Uh, I just, that's when I first noticed, like 32, really kind of changed jobs. I was traveling a lot. And I would wake up on the pillow when there was like 20 or 30. <laughs> it just, I was like, what in the heck happened here last night? And it, and I didn't. Somebody beat you up while you were yeah, sleeping. Yeah, like I didn't worry room. about it, but then it kept happening. I'm like, uh oh, this hair's coming from somewhere. Last bit, and then you're. Okay. Free. Cool. Free of me. So, depending on the patient, I don't usually love to do a ton of regions all at once because I'm a big believer, like I said, in the Vis Naturi and I'm trying to induce healing. And so, you're healthy and we did two small joints, one little Achilles and some scalp, that's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. People who come and want a shoulder and a hip and a neck, that's not gonna happen, mm. at least in my clinic. Some doctors will do that. I find that to be just overload for the poor body to try to heal. Right. And when I've done that myself as a patient, I did not get as good of a healing response when I kind of overloaded the system. Gosh, that's amazing. I never even thought of that. Yeah, so like I had my neck done, my shoulder done, and my low back, and I just absolutely, like none of them did great mm -hmm. from that treatment. But if I just did my back alone, I'd get probably, I think, better results. So we're good. <laughs> we're good. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you have it. So that's PRP on the hair, the Achilles, the elbow. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have a question or comment, please type it in below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning more about Dr. Tina Moore's clinic or practice, where can folks check you out online? So drtina.com, D-R-T-Y-N-A. And I've actually just launched a whole new PRP 101 Academy where people nice. can join in and get all of their questions answered. So uh -huh. we put a ton of content in there for them. Fantastic. So this would yeah. be for like patients or practitioners Anyone. or both? Anyone. Anyone. Pretty much everything I've been asked in the last 10 years is in there. Love in it. In a nice little easy to navigate school. So Okay. Yeah. And we didn't talk about this on the podcast a little bit, but um, what conditions or joint pain would not be improved by PRP? So I do have a list, especially if they log in and grab that little um, handy insider's guide, there's a whole list of things that it's best for, and then there's a list of things it's not good for. And I will say predominantly fibromyalgia, chronic myofascial pain syndromes, cancer, those are things you definitely want to stay away from. Okay. So if you've got a chronic issue, it's helpful. If you've got an acute issue, meaning you just hurt yourself, like your Achilles, wonderful. So awesome. the sooner you can grab it, the better. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. There you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to learn more content like this. And give it a thumbs up if you learned something. See you on the other side.